Before I properly start this video, I want to give a big thank you to Zeltriskel, Anti, Beast Bob, Leviosa, and especially Suis for the amazing help recording and finalizing the spots on this map. I've recently opened a channel on my Discord server for alt spots, if you got any cool diva bomb spots for maps I haven't made a video for yet, or if you just want to share some play of the game clips you've got for the community montage I hope to make soon, please drop them there and share them with the community, it'd be much appreciated. I don't want to delay the 21 spots I have to show you, so without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Rialto was an amazing map for the Retribution event and had some extremely well-fitting atmosphere for the PvE game mode it was featured in. Being the longest payload map in the game and featuring some of the most cramped early spaces for a payload map though makes it really frustrating to play in competitive, and I personally really dislike it. It is redeemed though by the sheer amount of rooftops you can slide a diva bomb along though, so I hope to show you some really unique and deceptive bombs in today's video. To help show the area of effect for each of the bombs in the video, I will be using actors with different health ranges to illustrate what types of heroes in different areas each bomb will kill, so you have a better idea of what targets to go for with each alt spot. These figures are just actors, and aren't there to represent real players, they're just there to help illustrate the area of effect that each bomb spot will have. As I said earlier, trying to get past the first corner on Rialto can be really difficult, so here's a simple bomb that you can use that'll either push the shield tank on the enemy team forward or the rest of the team to scatter away. There you go. There you go. Here's a sneaky spot you can use as a defender to bomb the attacking team without them being able to see where you're setting up from. There we go. Right. Here's a nice attacking flank bomb that you can use that covers a huge area, both sniper perches on top and a wide area on the lower ground. Covering an area similar to the last spot, here's a bomb that you can use from a very hidden location. Being quicker to set up, but offering the same coverage as previous bombs, this spot allows you to change what type of targets you want to kill based on how long you delay your boosts for. Note here how the Reinhardt doesn't die if you immediately shift and Q. You can set delay for a bit longer to kill tanks on the low ground for a sacrifice of some high ground coverage. Here's a sneaky ninja bomb that you can use as a defender to kill attackers trying to cap the first point. As my favourite bomb spot of the map, here's a really sneaky spot that you can use that will kill anyone that isn't fully under the archway as it abuses D.Va's ult mechanics. Oh, that's good. If you're having difficulty capping point one as an attacker, here's a really easy spot that you can use that will clear defenders contesting by the bridge. Note how people at the back half of the bridge won't die to the bomb, they will either have to contest and die, or move back and give you the point. If the enemy team is holding the back half of the bridge, here's a very easy spot that you can utilise that will kill everyone in that area. Now that you've capped point one as an attacker, you can use the spot that pops out last second and covers a huge area on the first corner. Both effective and easy, this spot is great for attackers as it clears the high ground staircase, the pier, and the second payload corner. Yeah, I got me. Here's an awesome rebounding alt spot for defenders that attacks both the inside of the theater and the second corner. Back to the attacking team, here's a great coverage bomb that sadly doesn't cover the pier area. Nerf 
Whilst a bit harder to pull off, this is the same coverage bomb but it does include the pier and certainly looks a lot more flashy when you're able to get kills with it. That might be... Oh. Here we go. As long as you remember to jump before boosting, this bomb spot is insanely sneaky and enemies probably won't see it coming. Alright, that's perfect. Here's that same coverage spot but for defenders and it's a bomb spot that you can use coming straight out of spawn. Whilst I definitely wouldn't call this an alt spot, you can actually boost up to the corner of this roof, hide there and use your bomb or your missiles when an opportune time to strike comes along. Going back to traditional alt spots, here's a nice coverage bomb that you can use for the last point in the first corner. Here's a bomb spot you can use as an attacker to cap the final point of the map thanks to the excellent coverage it provides. If you don't want to spend the extra time flanking around for the previous spot, you can use this one that bounces off the pillar for a similar result. Whilst it sadly only works on the right side, here's a spot that you can use that will kill defenders coming in to try and stalk the point. And that wraps up all 21 spots I have to offer for Rialto. I thank you so much for the continued support with this series and overall for my channel, it's really really appreciated. I wish I could upload more consistently but YouTube is only a hobby for me and with work and school piling up I cannot dedicate as much time as I want to to making content. I would like to thank my Patreons for this month for supporting me and if you'd like to make more direct involvement with the content I create please consider supporting me there. I've noticed a lot of comments in the newer videos in this alt spot series talking about how they've either already forgotten them or will never remember the spots in the video and I just want to gently remind people that this isn't the type of video you're going to sponge all of the knowledge out of in one go. As with all of the videos, you're supposed to be using the timestamps in the description to pick the bombs that you find personally interesting and practice them yourself to make sure you can use them and remember them properly. If you don't know how to practice alt spots, please refer to the warming up and practice video I made as it covers that area in detail. I decided to include that little rant at the end of the video because I assume people that have made it up to this point of the video care about the content I make and would be more open to an explanation of how you're really supposed to be utilising these guides. With my miserable complaining over though, I thank you so much for watching, good luck in solo queue, and have a wonderful day.